Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fish Door County TV. Well this week we're back in the downtown Sturgeon Bay area, but we're doing something a little bit different today. Today we're targeting four-year-old mature king salmon that are making their return to the Sturgeon Bay Canal for their fall spawning run. These big fish as they move back into the canal present a great opportunity for both the small boat angler and the shore fishermen to get in on some great salmon fishing action as they return to the Strawberry Creek area. We've got some good weather conditions today for these salmon. We got clouds moving in and out, and we're gonna show you guys everything you need to know to put some of these big four-year-old king salmon in the boat this fall. Stay tuned, we'll be back in about one minute with some great salmon fishing action. <music> Well, we got this fish on here, guys, and I don't know what it is yet, and that's kind of the cool thing, like we said about fishing this time of the year up here, is we really don't know what it's gonna be. You know, it feels like it's got some good weight to it. It's fighting pretty hard. Thinking maybe a small king or a big pike, and that's what's kind of cool, is we really don't know for sure. Getting them a little closer here. Staying down good on us. Yeah, it's a nice little king, that's what we're talking about. guy in the net. There we go. That's a beautiful little king to start the day off. Not really little by any means. Uh, and it just shows you all the great opportunities we have up here to, to take advantage of these fish. And this is the time of the year, like we said, it's late September, mid to late September that these fish are in here in good numbers and they're still in good shape like this fish is. We got some color to him, but he's healthy, bit good, fought really hard. And it's so cool because this is one of the opportunities, like we said, where you can take advantage of these fish, whether you got a small boat, whether you're a shore fisherman, these fish are in here, we're right in the middle of the canal. Anybody with a boat can take advantage of this and it's pretty fun. So make sure you get out here, get in on these fish and you're gonna have a great time catching these beautiful late season kings up right here in the ship canal in Sturgeon Bay. Let's get this fish in and uh, get these lines back in the water and catch a couple more. Well, we got another one on here, guys. Not for sure what this one is. I think we got a pike on here this time. That's kind of the fun of the mixed bags here. Uh, you never really know what you're gonna catch. And you know, it could always be a small king too. I mean, not all the kings in here are big. That's the thing. Oh, so here we got another one on here. All right, we got two on now, guys. <laughs> this is pretty cool. We get this one back in the holder here. All right, let's get this one now. This is the second one of our double header, and this is definitely a bigger fish here. This is kind of what we're looking for in here today. Yeah, we definitely got a nice one on here, and it's pretty cool when you're in here. Very little boat traffic. You got two, two nice salmon at the same time. It's actually pretty fun. All right, well, we got this one coming in, guys. We got a pile of weeds with us, as I know you can all see. It's another nice king. Not quite ready yet. Okay, come in here and get him. There we go. There we go. Oh, another nice king. Get out there. I gotta be honest with you guys. It just doesn't get much more fun than this. Well, wow, there's another really nice king here, guys. And you know, these fish this time of the year, 
It's just a cool time to get out here. We're gonna show you some of the stuff we're doing here in just a couple minutes, how you can target these fish. It's really pretty simple. And that's what's so cool about it, is you don't have to have a lot of fancy equipment. You don't have to have a big fancy boat like you might need to go out and troll the two, 300 feet of water in the summertime offshore when that bite's going. This time of the year, these fish are in here shallow. They're aggressive. They're biting any, they're not feeding, but they're biting things that get near them. And you could put a lot of nice fighting kings in the boat just like this. Let's get this one off. In fact, let's get both of them. We still got that other one from our double header here. And uh, it really doesn't get much better than this. Little guy here, of course, nice king here. We're gonna get both of these taken care of. We're gonna get lines back in the water. We're gonna put a few more nice fish in the boat before the night's over. Well guys, we finally got a little break in the action here. And I wanna talk a little bit about what we're using and the presentations that we're we're employing today to try to catch these salmon when they're in here in this late summer, early fall season here when these mature kings first make their run up the canal here. And you know, as a, as a little bit, for those who don't know exactly what's going on here, if you don't fish up here a lot, basically we're getting a run of the mature four-year-old kings at the end of their life cycle. They're coming back into the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal, they're gonna run up Strawberry Creek, and they're going to complete their life cycle by spawning uh, this time of the year as you get into late September and into October. When these fish come in here, they don't actually feed, but they're still aggressive enough to strike crankbaits and spoons, and that's what we're trying to give them today, and uh, it really creates for a fun bite when you can get these fish when they're pretty fresh still, uh, coming in here, they're real aggressive, and they fight hard, and you know, one way to target these fish is with spoon and downriggers, and you know, basically magnum spoons are the ticket. Uh, a lot of guys will run smaller spoons, and that's fine, but I always like to run the big magnum size uh, colors, a lot of different choices of colors. I kind of like things that are a little aggressive looking, a little bright, shiny, chartreuses and oranges and, and even purples and, and glow patterns, all of those. Anything that's gonna attract a lot of attention is gonna trigger these big kings into biting. Because like we said, they're not feeding. It's not, it doesn't have to be a natural look. They just want something that looks obnoxious kind of to them and then they'll attack it a lot of times and they'll strike at it out of anger. So any bright baits are usually a good ticket. Uh, another bait that a lot of times we like to use are crankbaits. You know, this is a big, you know, 800 series reef runner, uh, colors being exactly the same as we talked about on the spoons, a little bit more bright and aggressive colors. But these big 800 series reef runners, and of course the deep husky jerks, they're gonna trigger a lot of bites too. Sometimes you'll have to deal with weeds in the canal. We know that if you fished in here a lot, you, you know that already. Uh, downriggers help, of course, to kind of control some of the weeds, keep them off your baits. Uh, with When you're running crankbaits, a lot of times the boards will help, but either way, get yourself some of the big crankbaits, Magnum spoons on the downriggers, and you're gonna put a lot of these big kings in the boat when they're in a canal this late fall. Oops, there's one. Oh, we got one on here, guys. Not a big fish, but a fun one nonetheless. The reason it's not fighting like a king is because it's a brown trout. Oh, it's a beautiful brown trout. And this is a real bonus fish, guys. Look at that. Now that is a cool bonus fish right here. Wow, there's a beautiful brown trout, guys. And you don't see many browns in the ship canal, but we get them on occasion. And you can see why they call them footballs, because that's exactly what this little guy looks like. But brown trout are one of my favorite fish to catch. And this is the time of the year where you start to see some showing up in the canal, out on the flats, and then all through Sturgeon Bay area, and of course to the north as well. But this is a neat bonus fish. We're actually gonna get him back in the water and uh, get back and try to catch some more kings, but wait, we'll take these anytime. So guys, if you're gonna spend any time fishing the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal this fall, whether it be for pike, walleyes, or these big king salmon that we're chasing today, there's one thing you have to keep in mind, and that's how the current affects the fishery in here. Anytime you get a narrow body of water like we have here, connecting two major bodies of water, in this case, Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay, current's always gonna play a major role on your success on a day-to-day -day basis. We've often said that the Sturgeon Bay Canal fishes much more like a river system than it does a lake or any other type of body of water. Keep this in mind because the current is the number one factor in your success rate, be it good or bad on a given day. One thing about the canal that makes it a little difficult at times is that the current actually switches. Some days it'll be blowing from the lake to the bay, and some days it'll be blowing from the bay towards the lake. We've always had a little bit better success, especially on king salmon, when the water is blowing from the bay towards the lake. But that's just a general rule of thumb. 
anytime you get a chance to get out and fish, it's always a good time to go. But pay close attention to the currents. And the main thing it'll do is it'll have, force you to adjust your boat speed. Watch your speed closely when you're trolling in the canal. You want to maintain that constant speed, and a lot of times when you make a turnaround and go back the other direction, you'll notice big differences in your boat speed because of those underwater currents. Things to keep in mind, always monitor not only boat speed, but also your lure action right at the side of the boat before you put it in. Sometimes you'll see big differences going one direction or the other. Keep these things in mind. You're going to put a lot more fish in the boat if you pay attention to the current in the ship canal this year. Well, we got another one on here, guys, and to be honest, the weather is really taking a turn for the worse here. The wind is completely switched around, and it's blowing hard, which always makes it a little more interesting. And one thing we've done is just got rid of some of the stuff. We were running four rods to start with, a couple boards and a couple downriggers, and now we're just down to a couple downriggers. That's where the fish are coming on. And if that's the case, we had some weed problems in here running the boards, uh, and since we've done that, it's a little easier to fish. It's making things a little less complicated for us here, so we got this guy underneath the boat now. All right, well, we got the boat turned around here, guys. We kind of had a little trouble with the fish going underneath the boat and underneath the downrigger. And sometimes that's half the fun of salmon fishing here. And this is a pretty nice fish here. It actually keeps charging the boat on me here. I try to get him up here so we can get a look at him. Beautiful man. This is what we came looking for here today. We can't get a net out of this big guy. There we go. Wow. Wow. That's a beautiful king salmon, guys. Oh, we got another one on here. <laughs> this is what it can be like, guys. Doubles and triples sometimes and like I said, let's get this guy in the rod holder. And this is just a beautiful king. This is a great example of what you can catch out here. Big king salmon, full of fight still, pretty fresh. Get yourselves out to the ship canal here this fall, guys. Get some of the magnum spoons, set some downriggers, a couple of big crankbaits, and you guys are gonna catch some big king salmon just like this. I'm gonna get this guy put away. We're gonna get this one back in. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week on another episode of Fish Door County TV.